FAB may renew its offer for Standard Chartered, and Aldar sees a 27% annual profit surge. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Faraj. First Abu Dhabi Bank may renew a potential offer for Britain's Standard Chartered once lockup rules from its previous aborted bid expire. It's according to Bloomberg. News of the potential offer first came out on January 5th when FAB said it considered a bid for London listed Standard Chartered but was no longer doing so. The Abu Dhabi lender is reportedly considering reviving the bid, offering between 30 and 35 billion dollars, compared to a Standard Chartered's market value of 24 billion. The bank has has for years been the subject of takeover talks. Aldar saw a 27% surge in 2022 profit to $789 million on the back of strong growth in property sales. Revenue and rental income for the period jumped about 31% annually to $3 billion. Abu Dhabi's biggest listed developer saw its highest annual group development sales of $3.9 billion. This was driven by strong demand across existing inventory, plus new launches in Abu Dhabi and some contributions from Egypt. Emirates Islamic Bank saw its inaugural dirham-denominated sukuk oversubscribed, highlighting strong demand for local fixed-income products in the UAE. The lender confirmed that it successfully priced its sukuk offering, which was oversubscribed 2.5 times. Valued at $272.3 million, the new sukuk is a first-of-its-kind issued by a bank in the UAE. The strong order book allowed the bank to tighten the profit rate to 5.05% at a spread of 67 basis points. Dubai Chambers is establishing a new international office in Hong Kong to drive mutual economic and business growth and enhance trade ties between Dubai and Hong Kong. The announcement was made on the sidelines of the UAE Hong Kong Business Forum. The office will promote trade from Hong Kong to Dubai and attract more Hong Kong businesses to the Emirate while expanding Dubai's Asia-Pacific presence. It's part of an initiative to establish 50 representative offices for Dubai on five continents by 2030. Egypt's annual urban consumer price inflation jumped to a higher than expected 25.8% in January, its fastest in more than five years. It compares with 21.3% inflation in December. The rise follows a series of currency devaluations starting last March, a prolonged shortage of foreign currency and continuing delays in getting imports into the country. The Egyptian pound has fallen by nearly 50% since March. Headline inflation increased across the board, but was driven especially by higher prices for food and beverages. Credit Suisse posted its biggest annual net loss today since the 2008 financial crisis, coming in at $7.9 billion for 2022. The scandal-plagued Swiss banking giant expects to report a substantial loss before taxes in 2023 as well. The bank unveiled a dramatic restructuring plan at the end of October, focused on drastically reducing the scale of its investment banking unit at the heart of a string of scandals. British drug maker AstraZeneca posted surging annual net profit of $3.3 billion today, up from just $112 million in 2021. Business was boosted by cancer treatments and the integration of biotech unit Alexion following its blockbuster takeover. Revenue soared almost one-fifth to $44.4 billion. Officials say COVID-19 medicine sales are expected to decline significantly in 2023, but Astra forecasts that total revenues would climb between 1 and 5 percent this year. I'm Ramya Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.